Hey everybody, wanted to do an update for the uh, new, well, the, you know, new mid-sized tent. So, lights are on here, and we got tomatoes. I'll wait to show over on this side of the tent in a second to show those tomatoes, because they're really going, going good for me. Uh, so we got, you know, they're probably about six to seven inches. I'm really happy with uh, when my plants get like this. And they have a nice start inside these grow tents before I put them outside, because you can see they're getting that nice thick stalk down here. Nice and squatty. That's what I love to see. I don't like those gangly long ones. And these are the uh, Punakura cucumbers I planted inside here just to see if I could get them to germinate and get them a little early start. And so they're starting to get some of the true leaves coming out on here. So these are going to be my early cucumbers that I'll get outside. Or I may grow these out inside the grow tent just to see how well they'll do inside this new tent with the, uh, the new CMH ceramic metal hydride lights along with that LED in the center there just to see what kind of cucumber growth I can get with the, uh, the high intensity lights. Eggplants look like they're doing pretty well. There's quite a few that are really starting to take off now. You know, the, uh, the herb cuttings, the uh, rosemary back there, some of the lavender, it's got some new growth on it. So I'm happy to see that. My one surviving crimson, what was that? Crimson sprinter, or oh, critical mass, that's what it was. <laughs> I think crimson sprinter's a tomato. Critical mass mint plant seems to be doing pretty well back there. It's got a lot of new growth on it, so I'm happy to see I got one survivor from my cloning operations. And then over here on this side, we've got the eggplants. You can see these eggplants are starting to really take off. So these are the peppers, and these are the eggplants. So we got some nice growth on these eggplants over here in the last video, since we've done the last video update. And then these tomatoes over here, and you can see these things, these are really taking off. You know, you can see how thick these stalks are, they're getting. They're squatty, but they're getting tall. So these are going to be great for going outside this year. I can't wait to get all this stuff planted in the yard. And then down here, this is the, uh, the cutting I took off the ones from the inside of the large grow tent. And actually, there's tomatoes already set on this one. This is one of the, uh, uh, what is it, a Bell Star tomato? I can't remember now. Let me grab the tomato pack here. Yeah, Bell Star tomato. But uh, you can see there's a lot of flowers, a lot of fruit set down here. So we're going to have another tomato plant giving us tomatoes before we get to our summer harvests. There's some more of the uh, lavender. You can see there's new growth coming off on here, on that one there. Now I didn't really care if I had all of them survive. As long as a few of them inside there, I put four in each. And as long as I can get one or two to stop have growth, those will turn into a nice lavender plant out in our yard. So that makes me pretty happy. And then down here and last is the, uh, the little Christmas cactus cuttings. Got those down there. They seem to be hanging on. They're not dropping off and you know dying. So I've never done Christmas cactus cuttings to try to propagate those. So that's a first time event for me. But uh, that's it for the update for the some, you know new, new mid-sized tent. Hope you guys are enjoying the video updates, and uh, I'll try to keep them coming to you. It's hard to do it on a regular basis with my other indoor projects and the the work meetings and stuff I have after work and my long commute. But uh, I do enjoy doing this stuff to just share what I love in my personal time is my growing. And uh, hope you guys enjoy it too. All right, talk to you guys again. Bye.